and they hung out with Thomas Jefferson, who was in the last year of his life. And Fanny Wright, this amazing woman, said to Thomas Jefferson, you know, that all men are created equal thing should have included women. But she said, that was really a great concept. So I'm trying to figure out here, how come you have these slaves? And Jefferson was like, oh, uh, well, you know. Well, it's a very interesting thing. She went across this country and confronted people about fundamental issues that went to the next stage. She said, now, I don't want to, you know, think nostalgically about the revolution. I want to think about what comes next. And so Fanny Wright took her, her entire fortune, her family's fortune, and she spent it buying people out of slavery. She literally went to plantations and bought people out of slavery. And then she created a communal farm in Tennessee where African Americans and whites worked together to farm the land, to produce food and clothing, and to do so as a cooperative rather than in profit-making competition with one another. She did that in the 1820s. Now, that didn't go over real well in Tennessee. And so eventually the farm did fail. But this noble effort uh, inspired her to go on and preach revolutionary ideas. She went to New York City. And in the late 1820s, Fanny Wright campaigned at a time when women could not vote for the Working Men's Party, which was the first social democratic party in America. And in fact, 